Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am sharing how to DIY your own vessel or planter. I'm going to be sharing how to get this aged tan look as well as a white and ivory if you like that look too. If you like these types of DIY videos, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and hit subscribe so we know and we can make more for you guys. Also, if you are on Instagram, you can find me at Valerie Aguirre. I share a lot of behind the scenes, home and lifestyle there. So this project started out at Home Depot. That is where I found the terracotta planter. Home Depot offers these planters in several different colors and I think two different sizes. There's a 14 inch, which is the one that I used. And then I believe the other one is a 19 and a half inch and they come in all different colors. Last time I used kind of a more orangey color and this time all they had was this red. There's also a blue color. Um, the color doesn't really matter, so it's just gonna get covered up in my opinion anyway. So I'm not really picky about the color at all. So I brought this one home with me and what I love about these planters is really the shape. This one has a really nice thick rim around the top, which I feel like it just brings that quality up when it's just really thick. So my inspiration for this planter was a little bit of the Sienna table lamp from the Amber Interiors shop. I loved this kind of warm tan and just this kind of texture and look on that lamp. So I wanted to try and achieve that on this planter. So what I'm gonna start out by doing is giving this a good cleaning. I really didn't use any cleaner. I just wiped it down with a clean towel. And then I went in with the Magnolia Home Chalk Spray Paint in the color Yarn. I have used this before on my channel. It's kind of an antiqued white. Um, I really think that you could get away with just using a white if that's what you have on hand. I have this one on hand, so I wanted to go with a little bit more antiqued white, but it really does just kind of look like a little bit brighter white, but it does have a little tinge of an antiqued white, which is what I like about this paint. So I pretty much just covered up all the red. I think it was about one coat with the spray paint and then I let that dry completely. Luckily, it's pretty warm where we live already, so this dried relatively quick and I made sure to paint most of the inside, like around that rim, and then I wasn't really too worried about the bottom since you're not gonna see it anyway. So once you have your base coat of spray paint, I went in with some dirt and this is just dirt from my yard. Depending on where you live, your dirt might look a little bit different, but I'm really not picky about what is in there. You can see there's like little pebbles and rocks, little dirt clods and even some grass and weeds in there. And it really doesn't matter. It all just kind of blends in anyway. So I'm gonna take this and rub it all over this pot. And what you wanna do is really work this dirt into all of those little cracks and crevices and all those little holes. And you can see that definition really showing up once you start adding the dirt. I've also seen people use mud. I prefer kind of more the dirt technique, but you can also add a little bit of water. I've seen people try um, potting soil and different things like that, depending on where, where they live. Their dirt is not that great. So I've seen lots of different things. Just have fun with it. So once you get this dirt kind of rubbed in all over, this is gonna be kind of your first layer of dirt and what you're gonna do to lock in all of that dirt is go over with a clear matte spray. I use the Rust-Oleum Painters Touch Ultra Cover and it works really, really well. It dries really matte and it doesn't really yellow the pot at all. So depending on what look you're going for, if you want more of an ivory or white pot, you can stop here. That's one layer of dirt, one layer of clear, and you can see it does not come off at all if you have done enough clear. You could even do two coats of clear if you are completely done. But yes, if you want more of a white or very, very light looking pot with just a little bit of that aged look, you can stop after the first coat. I actually did probably about six coats on this one and definitely the more coats you do with dirt and clear, the more it kind of changes the color from that white to really that tan and brown color. So it just depends on what look you're going for. 
but in a nutshell, all you're going to keep doing is just keep layering over and over and over, dirt and then clear coat, let it dry, dirt, clear coat, let it dry. And it's all just preference on what you like and what you think looks good. If you're happy after three coats, if you're happy after eight coats, it's completely up to you. So for the very last coat to finish this planter up, you're just going to go over everything with your clear matte spray and lock it in. Like I said, you can do one really good coat or even two and it locks everything in. Let it dry for a good couple hours. I like to style my planter or vessel with faux or even real olive branches depending on whatever I have at that time. Sometimes I'll find other things outside that I like to bring in. These olive branches in particular are from Amazon so I can link those for you guys down below. But these are always nice just to have on hand as a filler. But I love, love, love that found look and this really naturally aged style and these warm tones are just speaking my language. I really love this project. I have a similar tutorial for this exact planter in black. So if you have not checked that out, I will link it here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope that this helps or inspires you to try a new DIY. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching again and we'll catch you next time.